Okay, guys, we'll just carry on with um, chapter three here. Um, there's just a few points that, which I'd like to also just highlight here. Chapter three says the equilibrium of a particle. Um, <clears throat> what you'll see later on in chapter five, it says the equilibrium of a body. So I just want to remind you then, again, what is a particle? A particle is, is, is simply something that has mass, but it has no size. So just remember that in a body, which you'll see later on, a body, it has mass and it has a size. Okay, you'll see the significance of that. Remember what I, sp I spoke in the first few lectures was that if, um, if, we, if we have a, uh, a particle with mass and no size, then all we're doing is we're considering it's essentially it's straight line movement. We're just looking at what, right, what happens uh, in, its, in terms of translational movement, moving in a straight line. Whereas with a body, remember that we're looking at both straight line movement and this body can also rotate. So we're going to also look at rotational effects of a body in chapter 4 and 5. Okay, but in chapter three, we're starting off with just the equilibrium of a particle. Okay, and um, so this uh, three point one says conditions for the equilibrium of a particle. Um, again, look at this word equilibrium, and what does equilibrium mean? It means uh, equilibrium essentially just means that if I write equilibrium. It means essentially that it will, the acceleration <coughs> is equal to zero. <coughs> Sorry. Which means what? It means that it's either moving with a constant velocity or it's at rest. And what did we learn in the, in the early um, lectures, in early chapters, that what we're doing in this course is we are looking at statics. So when we, when we consider equilibrium, just in this course and in, in statics problems, we are saying, well, that means the acceleration is zero and the, and the particle is at rest. And then, um, so it speaks here again, to make, it says, to maintain equilibrium, it is necessary to satisfy Newton's first law of motion. Guys, Newton's first law of motion, which requires the resultant force on a particle to be equal to zero. So, um, then what we need to see is this equation here, which I alluded to in the earlier, in the previous video. Guys, this is the equation. This is called the equation of equilibrium. Okay? The equation of equilibrium. And so equilibrium means we have a, a zero acceleration, means we're at rest, but what does it mean? What it means is that all the forces acting on a particle are equal. Um, the result of that, f of those number of forces, gives us a zero. Uh, gives us zero. So if I've got force there, I've got a force there, force there. If I've got a bunch of forces acting on an object, on a particle, and um, and if and if the, if the object is then in equilibrium, then that means that the sum of all those forces gives me a zero resultant. Okay? So that's, that's essentially the basic idea. So in this video, what I wanted you to just pick up is that what does equilibrium mean? It means that acceleration is zero. It means that all the forces acting on the, on the object or the particle is equal to zero. But what we are specifically looking at is that our particle is at rest. And I also wanted you to understand what is the difference between a particle and a body. Okay? So that's good for now. Thanks.